Take one. Only take. Action. Hi. My name is... Just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. So hey guys, remember that one thing I did last year where I used a video to bookmark how I was as a person? And then a year later, I went back to that video, put it as my channel trailer, and then completely cringed while looking at it? Well, here's my redemption. Or maybe not redemption. Probably Angie from like three years later will find this terrible. Sup guys, this is the thing where I introduce myself. Uh, hi, my name is Angie, I'm 15. I'm not gonna tell you where I live and I'm a sophomore right now. That's going good, just kidding it isn't. I don't know why I took freshman year for granted. Everything is harder now. And I am a fond lover of stickers and I impulsively steal things and that's all I can say for my personality. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Let's see. I have ridiculously long hair, which is still in a ponytail. So I'll just take that out. Look at this hair swoop, guys. Wow, my hair is very tangly, voluminous, voluminous. So let's see what I'm into. I'm into Steven Universe a whole bunch. In fact, I kind of own this edit account on Instagram. I don't know if anyone has heard of it or anything, but it's under the name Angie Does Edits, and I'm at almost 1,070 followers. I don't know if that's good. It's a fairly small account, but I like editing, and I think editing is fun for some reason, and I really like to do it, so people like to watch what I make, and that's pretty convenient and pretty great. I am fairly impulsive, as in I will steal things, and that's why my purse is so big. It's full of secrets and stolen trinkets. Yeah, because I have this mentality of, you know what, they're not gonna use it, and I'll use it 10 times better than them. Don't let me into your house. I also impulsively lie, which is really bad. Here's an example. See, someone would ask me, hey, am I supposed to do this? And I'll go, no. Just kidding, yeah! <laughs> it's not exactly the funniest thing in the world. I don't know why I do it just to mess with people. No, just kidding. People probably don't like me for that. Oh boy. I am an incredibly, stupidly nostalgic person. Like, wow, something will happen and I'll still talk about it two years later. I swear to God, it's kind of bad but I'm working on it. And do you want proof? Here is what I call the drawer of memes. So see, what it is, is that it's this big stack of random papers that I deemed too memory-ish to throw away. So let's just totally necessary. My polyatomics flashcard from last quarter. Wow. What am I doing? What am I currently doing? Okay, again, I own an edit account. I've said that already. And right now I'm playing through Pokemon Moon. It's, it's, the, it's the best thing ever. We seem to be in a quite the pickle here. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I have no idea how to play it competitively. Uh, oh, oh no. But I play it because it's fun. Good Lord, have mercy on me. And to nickname all my Pokemon really cute nicknames. Oh, I did it. Let's see. Right now I'm battling with Guzma. And it's great. You know what's great? It's just that, like, stop saying like, you dip. All of the Team Skull Grunts, they like articulate real widely like this, you know, yo? And then they always add yo to everything and their arms are just moving in 20 billion directions all at once. And I'm a wild gesticulator too and I always say yo, so it works out, man. <laughs> lame, I'm lame. Yeah, but right now I have a starter. Their name is Popples. Popples. Popples is like my favorite. It's such a cute nickname and it's so adorable. <laughs> oh, that's another part of my personality. I also tend to make really dumb puns and I don't even make the puns half the time. I kind of look them up and then just sort of remember them. So when the opportunity arises, I'll be all like, hey man, that cheese is pretty great. And then I'll go, ha. <laughs> it's sort of, it's sort of a thing that my family does. Hey, time for that updated desk tour. So here's my desk. And I'm sorry for the weird close-ups of my face and my acne, but it's, it's fine. I have my Shrek 
Happy Meal toy that I found, and it's there, ironically. My little three-tier drawer with like buds, chargers, wires, Copics, liners, etc. And then money, Christ, on a bike. And then I have a GoPro 4 in here, and it's just chillin' because I don't really do anything, so I have no use for it. My idea journals, this one is for ideas, and then this one is for ideas that I actually go through with. So here you have like my lyrics for the Rome song that I did for an English project. Roman, be a Christian or die, I said Roman. Tell Egypt I said hi. My student ID, which I put in a little snow globe. See, so when you shake it, it's all snowy. An AP test form that I forgot to turn in. Whoops, we'll just throw that over there. My excessive amount of mugs that I just put as pencil holders instead. Ain't that bench? Are you kidding me? Uh, my little panda plushies. Cause remember that phase in fifth grade where all the Asians said that their favorite animal was a panda? That's why. I got my Tsum Tsums and Ooloof and a stitch to match my other Ooloof. And yeah, that's it. Crap, I ran out of things to talk about. What did I even talk about last year? Alexander Hamilton, Hamilton, it's a Hamilton line. That's a Hamilton reference. Oh yeah. We are the crystal. That's all I got, sorry. So, um, I guess I'm not as energetic this year. I'm kind of tired, actually. But I want to get this video out before New Year's. So I could still say that I made this in 2016. So I guess this is the part where I kind of reminisce on the year. Oh man. Oh man. See, here, I don't know why I, like, insinuated this last year. I only, like, glossed over it really fast. And I don't know why I didn't talk about it. And man, if I was saying this, if I had to film this video three weeks ago, I'd be <laughs> a wreck right now. But I think I've composed myself well enough and I have nothing to stress over. So I think I'm more comfortable talking about this. It's weird. If anyone who doesn't really know me and they're just like watching this part, you can just stop watching here. I guess you wouldn't really get it. And here's the thing. Um, <laughs> freshman year really sucked. And I'm kind of scared that people in my class are watching this, but I think that it's important for me to document. Document, is that the right word? It's fine, it's fine, honestly. I kind of spent the first half, first 75% of freshman year going, uh, eighth grade, nah. I don't know why I did that, and that really, Kind of rob me. I'm not crying. There's not. There's just something. There's legitimately something in my eye. Uh, I don't know. That really brought me down. And let's just say that my I was in this perpetual state of wow. I'm not really doing anything with my life. It's not severe or anything. Don't worry about me. It's just a place that I didn't really want to be in. I couldn't really talk in front of people. My confidence was really bad. I couldn't do a presentation without stuttering or freezing up. And if you were in my English class at the beginning of sophomore year and you saw my train wreck of a presentation, then yeah, you would know. Wow, that was really bad. Here's the thing. I really wanted to stay with my eighth grade class for some reason, which was stupid. I don't know why I did that. That was ridiculous. And I remember first week of school, one of my friends from my eighth grade class that I still hang out with now, thank God, introduced me to this like quirky group of friends and they all like Steven Universe. And I kind of talked to them about it. And then I thought at the end, I was like, hey, these are pretty cool people, <laughs> but I'd rather hang out with my eighth grade friends. I wasn't in all honors classes, I was only in two. And I didn't really feel like switching because I kind of liked feeling like the smartest person in an all honors class. So when we had to choose our classes last year and I had to choose it really last minute because I forgot that the freaking deadline for class submissions was the day we had PE block. <laughs> I knew already that I had three choices for my fine arts. It was either drama, film, or art. And 
at the beginning of the year, I was like, huh, which one am I gonna do? I like all of them, oh my god! So at the end of the year, I kind of ruled out drama, given that I could barely talk in front of a class. Um, I kind of gave up on art. I stopped drawing, which is weird because it was such a prominent part of my personality up until freshman year. I don't know why I stopped, but whatever. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I like making videos. I have a laptop. I have Final Cut Pro now. Let's join film. So I joined film and I impulsively signed up for all honors and AP classes. <laughs> And so when I got my schedule back, I looked on there and drama was there instead of art and I flipped out. I could barely speak in front of a class. God forbid I have to talk in front of people 45 minutes a day. So I was like, you know what? I'll just join drama first day and then I'll switch out. I'm sorry if anyone's watching this and is bored right now, but I don't know. It's for me, guys. It's for me, even though that sounds really selfish, but it really is for me. I went into that drama class. We had to do an improv game. God, I was literally sweating. <laughs> and I went up there and my teacher said that, hey, I think this is going to be a good class. I really like Angie's personality. And I was like, what? Really? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. And I was like, okay, maybe I can get through this year. What I found out was I couldn't take film, the class that I wanted oh so badly, because it was the same period as my honors geometry. So it was either drop out of geometry or don't get film class. And my dad wasn't gonna let me drop an honors class, so that was out of the question. So I kind of just stayed in that class and I made a deal to myself that the second I feel super uncomfortable, I am out of that class and into art. So I stayed in that class. Over time, remember that friend group that I ditched the first week of freshman year? I started hanging out with them more because I shared so many classes with them and they're all really great people. Wow, I don't know why it took me a year to realize that there were other friend options outside of the people that I knew that I had to put myself out there. And I mean, it's just amazing. Skip forward a few months. At the beginning of freshman year, I was super into Ace Attorney, the freaking Nintendo game. Oh, they called over the loudspeaker for mock trial. And I was like, oh man, mock trial, objection, bust out my Magatama. And so I joined and I, the second I walked in the classroom, I was like, oh man, this room is filled with seniors. You know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll I'll do it later. Apparently there was a fee, but I didn't want to join. Fast forward again this year, I joined Mock Trial. I freaking wrecked Mock Trial. That was amazing. Here's the thing. The first competition we went to, I had to give the opening statement. When I went up there, this was the weird thing. I wasn't nervous. And that freaked me out because usually I'd be like panting and my knees would literally be shaking. But I don't know why I wasn't nervous. I was like, hey, are those drama classes actually helping me right now? Because this is the person who literally kind of stood up there for their English presentation going, um, um, and now I was giving this opening statement and I even got really high scores from the scoring attorneys. What was happening? <laughs> and it was great. Fast forward to the beginning of this month. It's December right now. And we had the Christmas play and it was so fun to be a part of. I loved every second of it, mostly because... I got to speak from a mic off stage. That was great. I didn't have to memorize my lines. It was, woo. That night, my drama teacher announced that she had to leave for personal reasons that I don't want to be mean and I probably shouldn't give out. But I don't know, it really kind of messed me up. Doing that class and doing all the plays and stuff kind of brought me closer to people I think that I'd never talked to. And to be in that class, the class that brought me out of my shell and introduced me to so many more people. And to have that teacher leave, I, I didn't really know how to feel. That week I was really melancholy. Um, it was right before finals and it really, it really took a toll on me. But I thought, hey, if I kind of 
quit drama class and just reverted back into this weird, shy, awkward persona that I was, then what good was joining that drama class and having my teacher there anyways? So here I am. I'm done with finals. I'm just really happy. That's the only word I can describe myself right now. I'm just so grateful and happy that all these circumstances kind of lined up this way for me to be where I am right now. I'm grateful that I had impulsively signed up for all honors and AP classes, which led me to meeting the friends that I hang out with now. I'm so grateful that my honors geometry just happened to be the same period as my film. I'm so grateful that I joined a drama class with an amazing drama teacher that really, really did bring me out of my shell. I'm grateful that I met so many people doing the plays. I'm so grateful that I had joined a mock trial this year and now I'm going to be the captain of it next year, which is insane. I'm grateful that my lame, super lame hobby, which is my super lame video editing hobby, now kind of has a purpose. I'm grateful that I have something that I can be proud of now. I am doing something with my life and that makes me so very happy guys. I can't really just credit me being a better person by just my drama teacher. It's all the friends that I share so many classes and stress over AP with. It's my bro who lives three hours away from me but continues to support my edits and continues to give me artistic opinions and stops me from fighting people online because I'll probably get blocked and reported. It's my internet friend who lives all the way in Canada who continues to be my friend even with my insanely wavering self-esteem. And I thank everyone, even you, the person who might have watched the entirety of this. But thank you, thank you so much, guys. I hope that 2017 doesn't go downhill, but I don't know. One can only dream. <laughs> Thank you guys.